Lando Norris is on the verge of quitting McLaren, particularly now that the squad has begun to unravel with Seidel departing for the Sauber team. He made the move despite big things set to come at McLaren, and now Norris has opened up about his position. He said some worrying stuff about his future engagement with the team. So, what is the news? According to the Dutch team expert, Tom Cornell, Lando Norris is waiting for another opportunity instead of taking a place at Red Bull alongside Max Verstappen. The Brit admitted he spoke briefly with the energy drink giant before signing his long-term contract extension with McLaren earlier this year, but he still has the tip to make the move in the future. Norris is one of the best young drivers on the grid and has performed well during his three seasons with McLaren. He has outperformed his teammate, Daniel Ricciardo, extensively over the past two years, leading to the veteran race winner being released from his contract a year early to be replaced by Oscar Piastri. His portrayals have linked him to a rise on the grid with Mercedes and most notably Red Bull among those discussed. The 23-year-old admitted he had discussions with the team before extending his stay at McLaren until 2025, and Cornell argued it was the right decision as he awaits other opportunities. Should he sit next to Max? He asked himself during an interview with Formula One magazine in the Netherlands. No, then he gets the same as everyone else, Gasly, Albion, Perez. Next to Max, your career just stops. It was wise of Norris not to go to Red Bull. It's better to wait for another opportunity. He actually is now. However, Cornell has also claimed McLaren is also the wrong team, as they don't offer the same opportunities for sporting success that he might find elsewhere. In the meantime, he'll have to show patience and find a chance otherwise if his current employers can't get out of mid-table. In October, Norris confirmed he had held talks with Red Bull, but decided to stay with McLaren after concluding it was the best place for him. Of course, there are discussions with others from time to time, he told the magazine Auto Motor & Sport. One always asks the question, what is best for my career? I want to win and win world championships. There have been talks with Red Bull. They're a team that's been in the top for three years. But that just goes to show how much confidence I have in McLaren. Although there were talks, I felt McLaren would be better for me, achieve my goals. Rumors that Norris is dropping McLaren in favor of Red Bull have been heated up again in recent weeks. XF1 driver and Sky Sports F1 consultant Karen Chandhawk discussed the future of Red Bull's lineup and of Perez in particular during Sky Sport F1 recent season review. Chandhawk feels that Red Bull should take advantage of Norris' misfortune. The Indian former F1 driver calls for them to lure Norris into Red Bull by buying him out of his contract. I think they, Red Bull, should be going hard to try and buy Lando Norris, Chanhawk said, receiving support from presenter Simon Lazenby. Absolutely spot on. Nonetheless, both Red Bull team boss Christian Horner and the motorsport chief Helmut Marko have praised Norris in the past, with the former revealing earlier this year the full extent of his team's interest in the Britain. We've talked to Lando a couple of times over the years, but every time we've had a conversation, he signed a contract with McLaren the next day, Horner admitted. He's on a long-term contract with McLaren, and it looks like he's going to be there a few more years. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko is a longtime admirer of Norris and tried to get him a Toro Rosso seat back in 2018. He also has a long-standing friendship with Verstappen, with the pair often mixing away from the track which would hopefully mean that they could coexist as teammates. Verstappen is of course under contract with Red Bull through to 2028, but long before that time, it would be a solid piece of business for the team to enlist the services of Norris. In a car comparable to the standard which Verstappen has been driving over the past couple of seasons, Norris is a driver who it is believed has what it takes to join the fight for wins and titles, and his team with McLaren has done very little to suggest otherwise. Of course, the other key question relates to whether Norris could be next to fall victim to the teammate killer Verstappen. Pierre Gasly, Alex Albion, and now to a slightly lesser extent Sergio Perez, all were left scratching their heads most of the time when it came to getting the same level of performance of the Red Bull machinery that Verstappen can. It is known that Verstappen has a rather unique driving style, but Norris too has experience of driving very particular cars over at McLaren. The MCL36, for example, was the opposite of what Norris said he wants from a car, 
yet he still got the best out of it, while Verstappen's former teammate Ricardo struggled massively and lost his seat. With Red Bull releasing Gasly a year ahead of his contract expiration to join Alpine, the team has shown that Formula One contracts can be escaped, so Red Bull now could look to show how this works the other way around by bringing Norris into the fold. Reflecting on the 2022 campaign, Norris told Sky Sports F1, from where we were in race one, Bahrain, I think we've done a good job, we've recovered well. If I think before the season, did we achieve in 2022 what we should have done as McLaren? Honestly, no. If we want to do well and we want to be champions at some point and we want to win races, we can't be satisfied with where we have been this season. However, the analysts do not know whether Norris will want to sit out his contract completely at McLaren at the moment when the racing team fails to become competitive. Driving another three seasons in midfield is something the young Briton would obviously prefer not to do. Nonetheless, at the end of the 2022 F1 season, Lando Norris revealed that while he was certainly not the happiest with how the year panned out for the team, he has faith in the men and women at McLaren. Speaking about his future with the team at the end of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the McLaren driver said, It's just faith. It's just honesty. That's the main thing I need. I'm not the guy who likes BS or likes people trying to make me happy. I like people just being honest. I have faith in McLaren. I have faith in these guys I work with, the whole team. What do you think will happen next with Norris? Let us know in the comments below.